researchers claim to have found a replica of Egypt's Great Pyramids and other ancient ruins in official NASA images of Mars, sparking suggestions that an ancient civilization once lived on the Red Planet. As most wise sages will tell you, the answers are not only from above but also below here on Earth. There are relics found in this planet, revealing ancient hidden history that also tell the truth of our origins as well as our Creator's origins. Is it really a coincidence that these ancient ruins found on Mars are a perfect match to what was found among the ruins here on Earth, but also the Orion constellation? Could this be one of many links to our celestial origins? The heavenly fleets have been traveling to Earth and prepared for this time of the end times on Earth. There is truth and evidence that they used the sun and other stars to energize their ships for these travels. The Bible is very clear on how the Messiah would arrive and where this would happen. The Israeli government is well aware of this, which is why they have the weather camp pointed in the exact place mentioned in the Bible. A genetic study reveals that the Egyptian pharaohs were ancient aliens. Prior to that, there was speculation that ancient Egyptians had help from extraterrestrial life. Now think about this as well. They reproduced with humans, and their bloodline now walk among us today. Man is constantly in pursuit of linking the missing pieces together of their origins. But what about the origins of their creators? Why would discovery as such be limited to what is on planet Earth. There are now clues that give us the answers to just that, from above as well as below. But why is man trying to cover it up? There are ancient connections that have revealed Christ's existence for he was Yeshua, like the day that he returned. When I was a little girl, I used to look up at the night sky and wonder of the stars, and I found myself wanting to communicate with the other life forms that I imagined to dwell beyond Earth's realm. We instinctually know that our creators have no limit. And it's really no secret that planet Earth beholds centuries of UFO sighting evidence. But since 2011, there has been an unmistakable spike that should have alarmed many of the powers that be. The Bible tells us when Christ arrives, the armies of heaven will accompany him. And there has been an obvious disclosure coming for some time now. Of course they've investigated it, but are they telling you the whole truth? Not even close. The Vatican employs numerous top-level astronomers operating telescope technology that can allow them to view these objects as well as celestial bodies at an extreme and detailed close-up range. Governments from around the world have been subtly letting us in on this as well. Hollywood's in on the big secret letting us see glimpses of the truth and man's imminent future. Now, a logical person would ask themselves the question, why would a major religious institution invest millions of dollars into very types of high-end telescopes? What are they doing? What are they looking for that NASA hasn't already found? And why? Think about that. It is not only a reality that the Vatican astronomers have invested into that kind of telescope technology, but they've also been looking for extraterrestrials. Now, did they find it? Oh yes, they know. What is it? Well, the answer is divine origins of the Messiah and the heavenly angels. Remember the scripture John 18.36, Christ tells us, My kingdom is not of this world. Now pay close attention. Is this out of sheer curiosity or in preparation of a huge event? Perhaps something like that of Revelations 19.14. The scripture states, 
The armies of heaven come dressed in fine linen, white and pure, following him on white horses. And from his mouth proceeds a sharp sword, and with which to strike down the nations. Of course, they are best describing it with what they had to compare it to at the time. But could it be that they are preparing for the great day, the Lord? Could it be that since they have also coordinated efforts with NASA, world governments, and militaries, that it is to prepare for a war defense with our heavenly creators? As most wise sages will tell you, the answers are not only from above, but also below here on Earth. There are relics found in this planet, revealing ancient hidden history that also tell the truth of our origins, as well as our Creator's origins. A now famous ancient pyramid artifact piece among 350 other mysterious magnetic artifacts were discovered in 1984 by engineer Dr. Elias de Sotomayor. Sotomayor at the time was looking for gold in a tunnel. Measuring 100 meters under stone within an Ecuador jungle, it was said to have been discovered within a tunneling system within the areas of La Mana and the Taos Cave. The 6,000 plus year old pyramid artifact with capstone contained magnetic properties and a very interesting inscription in it that reveals very specific information about Yeshua's celestial origin. This pyramid clues us into other supporting evidence that man's DNA was constructed by co-creators that nobody would have ever suspected. Professor Kurt Schildman, president of the German Linguistic Association, who is proficient in more than 14 languages, translated the artifact inscription. He was able to determine that it was written in pre-Sanskrit, which revealed it to be over 6,000 years old. Next to this inscription was gold inlay of the Orion constellation. The inscription next to the inlay translates to the sun of the creator comes from here. It is important to be aware of the fact that pre-Sanskrit is the oldest of all writing. This comes from the first language. The artifact looks much like the pyramid on the US dollar, where hidden knowledge is in plain sight. It also displays the all-seeing eye and the very same 13 steps. Coincidence? When it's under a black light, the eye shines like a light green and gray color. The secret societies, such as the Freemasons, known as the Master Builders, will hold the same symbology, which also includes such objects like the pyramid, where the capstone is separated from it, or maybe not yet attached which is referenced in the Old and New Testament. Refer to the scriptures such as Matthew 21:42, for example. Have you never read in the scriptures, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone? This is from the Lord and it is marvelous in our eyes. Of course, this is a direct reference to the Messiah, the Son of God who is the primary creator of all. Now, here are some questions people might want to ask themselves. Who do you think of when you read the Son of the Creator? Why does this stone pyramid shine under a black light? Why is it made to illuminate in the darkness? Is this hint at light related to the ominous light bringer Lucifer, the same name as one of the Vatican telescopes that discovered alien life? There'd be no mistaking that not only can they see the planets like Nibiru, but also what inhabits Nibiru. Is this pyramid stone proof of the Freemasons' core belief that Christ and Lucifer are one and the same? Now think about this. This is a 6,000-year-old artifact that reveals information about Yeshua. 6,000 plus years old. This was not Yeshua's first time on Earth. This means that he had lived other lifetimes. Let's look at this. The sun of the Creator comes from the direction of the Orion constellation. 
this is in space, not the kind of heaven that one might try to create in the mind's eye. This points out the direction of which Christ's origin really came from prior to his physical birth here on Earth. Nibiru was in this originating direction at that time. Nibiru is one of the celestial heavens. This is the planet that Yeshua's spirit came from. He came to Earth both to teach and mature Earthlings in order to save them. His destiny is to rule over this planet. At this time, Nibiru, the planet of the crossing, is now within the Earth's solar system. The distance that is now between Earth and Nibiru makes the angelic travel both energy and time efficient. The Bible tells us when Christ arrives, the armies of heaven will accompany him. And there has been an obvious disclosure coming for some time now. So this evidence is perfect timing of the Messiah's return, as well as the arrival of the angelic heavenly armies as described in the biblical chapter of Revelation. There are literally countless statements of military personnel and earth inhabitants providing disclosure and evidence that earth has been closely monitored and visited by the angelics that they call aliens. But with that title UFO comes a lot of confusion. It's a known fact. Most Christians don't believe in aliens, yet they acknowledge that when Christ returns, he's supposed to come out of the sky with heavenly angels. If you read that in context, it sounds a bit like an alien invasion. Angelics have intervened countless times to prevent the premature nuclear disaster that Earth's leaders keep imposing upon themselves. Yet they seek to lash out at the angelics out of fear and misunderstanding. Some would say it is an arrogance. Man now believes that they themselves are greater than God. I had to rationalize and face many difficult questions. Was it possible that the return of Christ would not be what I imagined? Could teachings through religion have been distorted and diluted over time or not conveyed the right way? My final words to everyone is this, to seek him is to find him, but it will not be where you expect. What we have in addition to this is proof that the son of the creator has indeed arrived again. He returned with a new name and it means word of God, Rael, R-A-Y-E-L. Of course, there is so much more to this. For more information, please visit both of our social media websites on Facebook and VK under the congregation of Lord Rael, R-A-Y-E-L, Lord Rael, dot org, as well as Armageddon Broadcast Network dot TV. If you wish to donate, you can go to Armageddon Broadcast Network dot TV forward slash donate. Thank you for joining me today.